this is a, a preliminary a PhD example of uh, uh, this, uh, this study. Uh, Oh, 
Fadil Hali Quran What about Isra? <coughs> okay, here my parents sent me to Quran school at the most village when I was a child That's why start from that time I'm knowing about Isra And in Indonesia, education system for any school belong to non-formal education. We can see here formal and non-formal Islamic education with consists of, uh, for example, here formal madrasa ibtidaya. It means that religious or Islamic primary school, while madrasa sanawiya is religious junior high school madrasa alia <coughs> is religious junior high school as well as islamic school and then for non-formal education here there are many but my research focus is only on Quranic school and here i would like to explain about the current situation of Quranic schools compared with my uh, period when I was a child. Right now, preschool children age 5, age five years old can be accepted as the students of Quran school. But when I was a child, when I was at primary school, I can be the student of Quran school. But when I was kindergarten, I cannot be accepted. And then the second one that Anybody who master in reading the Holy Quran can be the student at Quran school too. And also, here, some Quran teaching learning context also are used. And the teachers use new teaching methods, while in the past time, only use the traditional that are listening and memorizing the Holy Quran. And some of them here, Quran schools have their own independent Quran schools. But in the past time, the teachers only use uh, the teacher's <coughs> mosque as the classroom or as their houses as the main classroom. And the next one is about the school fee. Nowadays, the parents and the teachers are having what we call uh, on number nine annual meeting so they discuss about the tuition fee as well as uh, the uniform that they will have and the next one the time for teaching learning program here that the school of quran school here the students go to quran school in the past time at night but nowadays in the afternoon and of course, because I am an educator, so I feel very important to conduct the research about Quran school. Quran school is not only about Islam and Islam education, but also <laughs> education as a whole peaceful future education. And the next one, the teachers of Quran schools here not only teaching about the present life by teaching the students the basic knowledge of Islam faith, but also strengthen their faith, their belief in their heart that they will uh, face or have eternal life in hereafter when they pass away. And then on no Quran schools here is the all the oldest of education system in Indonesia, but the research about Quran school in social sciences and humanities remains few. And basically, the historically, Islam is from Saudi Arabia, especially from Mecca, and it is brought by the traders to Indonesia, especially in Aceh. But the teaching learning process, basically, the place is the same. That are started from the mosque. The mosque is the holy place for Muslims to do their worship and also as the house of the God. And
And here, science in 2014 found out about the research finding that uh, the teaching learning process of Quranic school or maybe here, the Islamic teaching started at the beginning of the second century for children around six until 11 years old. And the places are conducted at the village mosque and the prayer houses of at the religious community members' house. And also, since that time, uh, the number of Quran schools in Indonesia is mushrooming. The next year, Budianto stated in around 1996 that there are at least four driving force given the reasons why the number of Quran schools in Indonesia is mushrooming. The first one, the <coughs> teachers of Islamic religion teacher at formal school only teach two periods every week because they are having so many topics to deliver to the students at the classroom during for one semester. So of course, the learning about the Holy Quran is ignored by the teachers. And the second one, that the decreasing of Quranic learning in mosque, for example, here the teachers pass away. The old teachers pass away and there is no uh, new teachers who want to substitute his position. And the next one, now we are facing for a globalization era and of course parents are much busier than before. They go to their job or maybe running their own business, start from early in the morning and then go home late in the afternoon. And of course, they are very tired and feel that, oh, I do not have time to teach my, two, my children about Islamic education. Of course, the children of Islamic education also did not by the parents. And the next one, the slow development of Quranic teaching methods because in the past time, the teachers here only use traditional one. And Nakata in her finding in 2009 said that in the past time, Quranic school teachers use traditional teaching method by using uh, listening and memorizing the Holy Quran. And then in Java context here, uh, there are two prominent Islamic scholars that are Asad Humam and his team in Yogyakarta set up the Quranic kindergarten and also they created a crop teaching method. And then Dalam Salim Sarkasi in Semarang in around 1996 developed Quranic schools called Rodotul Mujawidin and he used or created a Kiroati teaching method. The next, based on our research finding, that basically the diversification of Quranic schools uh, here occurs not only in village level, for example here in remote rural and remote rural and semi-urban areas, but also happen at Quranic school level. And here, of course, for me, for a researcher, of course, the diversification of Quran schools is like a red box. So I have to search about its content. And finally, I got the diversification of Quran schools here. For example, as I mentioned before on the introduction of the isms about teachers, teacher training, management, school building, teaching content, etc. And then I have placed some objectives of the study for my research. The first one, to understand the rules and constraints of foreign schools in providing basic knowledge as well as religious education in those settings through qualitative comparative research. And the second one, is to understand about Quran schools' contribution to peace education in rural settings in Indonesia. And the next one, to propose implications for Quran schools' future expected role. For 
for my research questions here, I raised five research questions. The first one, how and why diversified, the diversified is for high schools in four settings in semi-urban and remote rural areas in Banjarnegara Regency. The second one, how are the commonalities and differences of high schools in four settings? The third research question that how do Quran school teachers improve their professional capacity to teacher training conducted by the center as the center learning for teacher training? And the next one, where is the direction of Quran education within contemporary globalized society? And the last piece of question is how do Quran school teachers conceive about radicalism and journalism also their active role in this education for combating the radicalism and journalism to the students. Regarding the research methodology, I conducted the research in Banjar Negara Recensi because it has the, the place it, uh, Banjar Negara Recensi has relation with the birthplace of uh, the oldest or the first Islamic organization in Indonesia, what we call Muhammadiyah, which, which is built in around 1921 by Ahmad Dahran. And Banjar Negara Recensi also has its dynamic uh, development at formal and non-formal education. And here we can see on table one, that the number of uh, Quranic schools, all of them here are private schools. There are 266 Quranic schools based on Banjar Negara Recensi Education Office in 2013. Regarding the districts, I conducted the research here at three districts, Raket, Wanadadi, and Sigal <coughs> districts. You can see here that this is Banjar Negara Recensi, and Sigalo district belongs to semi-urban because it is close to the Banjar Negara town and the central city here. And also, one of the other districts belong to remote rural area because it is far away from the central city of Banjar Negara. And we can see here on figure three that, as I mentioned before, Rakyat and Wanada district belong to remote area, while Sigalo district belong to semi-urban area. And then, regarding the research respondents, research instruments, as well as data collection and data analysis, here, I created questionnaire and then distributed. And two assistants helped me to deliver the questionnaire and then they take the questionnaire back and return it to me. But for explanation about how to answer it, I directly go to the Quran school's teacher's house. And then here for the questionnaire, I distributed to four teams of the village and 32 Quran school. And interestingly, that uh, the headmaster here is also as the main teacher of Quranic schools. And then the interview also conducted to deepen about the data collection here. And to know about the real condition of teacher training, uh, I mean the, teacher, the <coughs> teaching learning process in the classroom, for example, can be held in the mall at the teacher's house or maybe at the Quran school building itself. And also to know about the real condition of infrastructure of each Quran school, I conducted the observation, so I visited those Quran schools directly. And then I conducted the research during uh, 2014 and 2016 for three phases. And then after the data were collected, I descriptively analyzed and compared between the two settings. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we, after getting the literature, the background of the study, the objective of the study, as well as the research questions, I finally can found the research findings.
Hirensiran, the first one, they falsification of Quran school. <coughs> Here belong to Islamic education in semi urban rural and remote rural areas, which is located in Banjar Negara Chelsea. And here it occurs not only in village level, in those areas, in semi urban and remote rural areas, but also at Qurani school level. And then it shows that the community here around the Qurani school has freedom to manage the Qurani school based on their locality, human resource, as well as community need. The next one is for our schools here requires decentralized, also reality <coughs> decision making approach and then the institutional framework to make it work. The next, the diversification here, it means that requires the delivery approaches. The first one requires creative of flexible timetable because in the past time, Qurani schools teacher learning process conducted in the afternoon and at night, but nowadays, so the Qurani schools teaching <coughs> a process can be held in the afternoon. And the second one, uh, recruiting new students to go to Qurani schools to study about the Holy Quran and other Islamic teaching. The next one is recruiting volunteer teachers. You know that very interesting, unfortunately. The teachers of Quran schools in Banjar Negara Regency are not paid at all. Although every week, every month, every year, they go to Quran school to teach the students, but they do not get any salary at all. And then introducing multiple grade classes to make the optimum use of the teachers. So the student here can observe on can get the knowledge from the teachers as deep as possible, as much as possible. And then encouraging the private sector, non-governmental organizations, religious organizations to participate <coughs> in the education, especially religious education in Quranic schools. The next research finding is that the commonalities of Quran schools in both areas. In the next part here, in their education roles in community, we may say that Quran schools in both areas, in semi-urban and remote rural areas, has very important roles in providing relatively cheap, even very low or maybe even free of education. So all children here can get access of education, so they will be a Quran literacy here by having a good generation with sufficient Quranic literacy. And then the second one that here, Quran schools also is very vital because it can guarantee that although the children are for, from very poor family, from marginalized family, they can have uh, access to <coughs> education. So the children here can get literate in Quranic learning, as well as the Quranic school here can be very ideal for promoting education for all. And regarding the school management and financing, Quranic schools can survive and adapt to the current and overwhelming demand from the community because they are not valued for things that the former school do not. Here, some people may be confused why the community demand for the Quran schools for their children. Because as I mentioned before that uh, at former schools, the teachers, for religious teachers, do not have time to teach the students on how to read the Holy Quran. But at Quran schools here, the teachers focus only teach the students on how to write, read the Holy Quran. And then the Quran schools sustainably must depend mm -hmm. on the active participation of the community members. <coughs> and regarding the teacher
Kita mana yang konten? The Holy Quran here is mainly written. Even all of them are written in the Arabic language. So of course, the teacher learning content the mainly is Arabic language. And also the second teaching learning content here is about moral education in order to achieve basic goals of Islamic education. The third one is general education is nurturing Muslim children to master the Holy Quran and to be the pious generation. And this is the differences of Quran schools in school setting, in school management and financing. In semi-urban rural area here, but of course the economic development is much better than those in remote rural area, of course, but it does not affect the establishment of independent Quran school. The community here do not have any initiative to build their own Quran schools for their children and other children. And then the second one that most of the Quran schools in semi-urban area here just use the mosque for the teaching learning place. And then the next one, economic development in semi-urban rural does not also get impact the higher admission fee required by Quran school here. And regarding the school management and financing in differences here in school setting, in remote rural area setting, that because many rifles compared with those in semi-urban area, the teachers have very good idea to attract new students to come to their uh, Quran school to study about the Holy Quran. The teachers uh, using pamphlet, writing invitation letter, and even visit the students' parents at their house and encourage their children to come and study at Quran school together with teachers and other friends. And the next one, the community has successfully built the Quran school by working hand in hand, donating their own resources, and successfully they can build their own classroom for children. And the relatively low economic development here affects also most of Quran schools are free of charge. The next is the teaching learning system. We can see here that uh, Rawal Dutul Jana Quran School in Sijawi Village, which is located in Somi Arban Rural, the teacher used the individual teaching method. Uh, when she teaches one student, other students are waiting for their turn. And she only used uh, one Kiraati teaching method. And then, at Permata Quran School here in Kapan Village, which is located in the remote rural area, he uses individual first, and then after finishing all the children getting the knowledge about their turn, and then the children here are separately, girls and boys, do uh, gather together with teacher to read the verses of the Holy Quran. The third research finding that Quran school teacher training for improving their professional capacity by Usandran. Basically, the model of teacher training conducted by Usandran for Quran school teacher here is the same. But of course, the implementation in the real class can be different for each teacher because it depends on the teacher's knowledge and skill in teaching the students. As I mentioned before here, the Formata Quran School uses Holy Quran, Ikhra, and other, and also Quran, uh, the Jannah Quranic teachers here using the Holy Quran and only individual teaching method. <coughs> the third recent finding regarding the training model, the first one that in service Quran teacher training model here, the first one that the teacher directly go to pesantren to have training and the teacher of pesantren here teach the teacher of Quran schools. And the next 
one, the, the teachers of Quran school here are invited by maybe a district or the Clancy religious of our office to join the teacher training at design the teacher training center. And here, a center teacher also teach the Quran school at the teacher training center. And the fourth research finding here, the direction of Quran school within contemporary globalized society. Quran school actually is on the right track to make the children to be a good, pious generation by having Quran literacy and also have good characters based on the values of Islam religion. And the next, they are not easily influenced by globalization current. The next one, Quran schools also can play its important roles and the counter actor to preventing their children, their teachers, parents, community, even environment that influence, especially here, the young Muslims to join uh, the terrorist attacks. <coughs> While well, the recent finding, the fifth one, that Quran school teachers' perception about radicalism and terrorism. Here, our teachers, our 12 Quran school teachers here, totally do not agree with radicalism and terrorism movement. And the next one, that the teachers feel that Indonesian good citizens and Muslim generation also have to prevent themselves by uh, the propaganda of other action groups, for example, here the terrorist group to do the terrorism and radicalism over themselves, their parents, their community, as well as the students and teachers at Quran school. And then here on the Quran school teacher, they have three, what we call, uh, ways to counteract them about the radicalism and terrorism movement. The first one, direct teaching at classes by mm -hmm. storytelling and lecture. Also, they actively perform or maybe they are actively in conducted on joining the festival uh, days at history or maybe at the regency level. And the students here can play drama, can say singing, as well as uh, the workshop for the peace and Islam and also calligraphy about Islam. The next one, the teachers here have a good idea by writing letters to the parents and then they make discussion with the parents to prevent the children from the radicalism and terrorist movement. Well, after analyzing <coughs> the data, finally I have some conclusions and suggestions the conclusion here, Quran schools of uh, the development of Quran schools in Banyanegara Gentry, in Jans and Jendra Java, here have proven that Islamic education is in Indonesia is much diversified in many aspects, which are influenced by socio-economic and other social and political factors. The next one, according to the comparative study here, semi Abadur area which is not necessary to stretch and enhance its character. But the number of the population in uh, each Quran school here, especially in Rebutur area, is less than those in semi Abadur area that make the Quran schools here must advertise its character to the community. And to do that conduct, uh, the condition here, Quran school in remote rural area here, is much diversified. More teachers have participated in the teacher training. The community participate also very big because they work hand in hand to build their own independent Quran schools. Also, the number of the students here is much more than the number of the students in to uh, semi-urban area. And they, of course, have more
secret methods because he learned the Twitter training here. The teacher introduced another book for training and teaching the students at Quran school. And the next one, in semi-urban rural setting that has better economic condition here, does not create impact to the development of independent Quran school. While in remote rural area, which of course has low level of economic growth, but the community members can build successfully their own Quran school building. And the next one here, that the centers and the centers of teacher training for Quran school teachers here, also and the agent of change for Quran school teachers. So the new, uh, the new knowledge that the Quran school teachers get during the teacher training that, I, that they have attended here, uh, the differences between the old and new methods can be unified and then the teaching method also here can be clearly observed and the study can prove that Quran school here is teaching about peace and really care of the students to be aware of the uh, movement of radicalism and terrorism <coughs> and here the suggestion for better future, for all schools, especially good Quran schools, especially in school management, should share their success story to the weak Quran school with lack of uh, many, many shortcomings here in teaching, management, etc. So that all Quran schools here can learn from the, each other. And then finally, they can have high possibility to develop much better and sustainable. The next one, some possible approaches that can be uh, used here and the strategies that can be applied for improving the uh, education, especially in training mm -hmm. education, in Quran school, include encouraging the community to work and hand to support the government also. The government should support the Quran schools by giving the a fund for each Quran school in the Regency and also giving the monitoring as well as teacher training for all Quran school teachers in the Regency. <coughs> and then the local government will be highly appreciated if they give much more attention to the development of Quran schools in those areas. And then one of the basic issues here that should be tackled that uh, the financial spot from government to the Quran school teachers and interestingly here that as I mentioned before all Quran school teachers are not paid at all because they are very, uh, they are volunteer teachers and this is some references that I use this is the publication and academic attend, uh, academic meeting that I have attended Thank you very much for your kind attention. Questions and comments are very much. Uh, 
a textbook for the children to teach. Usually for the teachers who have attended Quran school teacher training, and especially about teaching method, they will implement the teaching method directly to the students. For example here, the students may be in the previous time use Ikra teaching method. This is the first uh, teaching method that uh, used by the Quran school teachers in General Java especially, but because the teachers have attended UMI, UMI teachers training at maybe pesantren or maybe at different places decided at teachers training conducted by district or maybe religious affairs here at residential level. So the teachers here want to implement the result of their training that they have attended. So, of course, they will move, they will change the curriculum. And here, the basic content of the curriculum here, the teachers should give the, the students mainly to be a master of in reading the Holy Quran and write the letters of the Holy Quran. And here, uh, there is no uniformity, especially in Tanjung Negara Sen, in which I conducted the research. So, uh, in one Quran school uses maybe Ikhra teaching method, and another Quran school using Kiroati, and another one using uh, Umi teaching textbook. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, talking about Quran school in Indonesia, mm -hmm. I think it has a very close relationship with Sun Plan. Uh, you have this Islamic boarding school in Indonesia, and is there any specific difference or maybe kind of relationship between Sun Plan and Connect Quranic school? Because good mm -hmm. teach about how to recite and to read Quran. Mm -hmm. In Banjar Negara, I mean, is there any specific relationship or maybe difference between? Quranic school and Tantra. Okay, yeah. thank you for listening. Um, here, <coughs> as I mentioned before, here that Tantra as the agent of change for the Quranic school teacher, because the Tantra actually is the center for teacher training for Quranic school teachers, especially here. So, although Quranic schools <coughs> is the, the oldest type of education institution in Indonesia, but uh, the teachers here at first only use the mall, but the teachers at Pesantren here and then have a, like a good initiative. Usually Pesantren that is established by Kiai, and Kiai here is the main teacher of Quran school and the owner of the Pesantren and also as the Islamic cleric, and it is very honored person in Pesantren. And uh, here, because the teachers of um, Pesantren here usually they study about Islam, <coughs> Islamic teaching, about Quran, and other uh, information about Islam. At universities in Indonesia or maybe abroad and of course the knowledge of teachers here is much better than the